Before you watch this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Social Media Gemini TV and do not forget to press the notification button and to get more information. Merry Christmas everyone and welcome back to Azeng News. Indonesia authorities warn people to stay away from eruption range. Indonesia's Semir volcano on Java Island erupted, sending a two-kilometer high ash column into the air as authorities warn people to stay away from the eruption range. Earlier this month, eruption of Semeru, Java tallest mountain, ejected ash clouds and pyroclastic flows that killed at least 46 people and left several missing, while thousands of people are displaced. According to Indonesia's Center for Volcanology and Geological Hazards Mitigation, the volcano eruption resulted in dense white and gray ash clouds. The agency warns residents not to conduct any activities within a 5-kilometer distance from river sites due to risks of lava flow. With 142 volcanoes, Indonesia has the largest population globally, living in close range to a volcano, including 8.6 million within 10 kilometers. People rescue cats from flooded buildings in Malaysia. Eyewitness video shows cats been rescued from a building by two men with an inflatable boat as floats which have hit parts of Malaysia submerged the streets of Shah Alam. Authorities say at least eight people have died in the floats as the government faced criticism from the public and opposition lawmakers over its rescue efforts. Floats are common in the eastern coast of Malaysia during the annual monsoon season between October and March, but unusually heavy rainfall has put a strain on emergency services across the country. Malaysia has mobilized its army and other security agency across seven states with the worst flooding in Selangor, the country's wealthiest and most populous region. Typhoon Ray leaves trail of distractions in the Philippines. Typhoon Ray weakened after slamming into southern and central parts of the Philippines, one of the most powerful tropical storms to hit the country this year. Ray, which at one point intensified into a Category 5 storm, the highest classification, had damaged homes, toppled power and communication lines, and displaced more than 300,000 people after hitting land. Disaster officials could not yet give a complete damage assessment, but were not expecting major devastation based on initial data gathered. Typhoon in the Philippines kills 375 people. A police report says the death toll from Typhoon Ray that lashed the Philippines has climbed up to 375 and 56 more remaining missing. The typhoon still poses a serious threat to the normal lives of the people in the affected areas. Meanwhile, the country's disaster response agency says the typhoon has affected close to 1 million people and displaced 442,424 residents. The initial estimate of damage to agriculture is 2.4 million US dollars as well as 4.5 million US dollars to infrastructure. The Philippine Civil Aviation Administration stated that, due to the impact of Ray, Surigao Airport and Siargo Airport in Surigao del Norte province of the Philippines are closed. It is expected that all commercial flights to and from the two airports before February 2022 will be cancelled. The typhoon first slammed into Siargo Island of the eastern coast of Mindanao Island in the southern Philippines. Ray lashed the Philippines for three days, causing floods and landslides and leaving trail of destruction in the central and southern Philippines region, including some areas on the main Luzon Island. Japanese Parliament approves record additional budget to secure post-pandemic growth. Japan's parliament approves the first extra budget of the 2021 fiscal year with a record spending of $317 billion to help economy withstand the fallout of COVID-19, further straining the industrial world's heaviest debt burdens. The 36 trillion yen or $317 billion budget earmarks funds for tackling COVID-19, including to secure vaccines and drugs, while it also features cash payouts for families with children and funds for the promotion of tourism. 
Japan's government issues three extra budgets in the last fiscal year. The extra budget will be partly financed by some 22 trillion yen or $194 billion worth of additional government bonds to be issued in the current fiscal year. Prime Minister Fumio Kishida says his first extra budget was aimed at restoring the COVID-19 hit economy and achieving a virtuous cycle of growth and wealth distribution while fixing the country's public finances in the long run. Thailand reports its first local Omicron case and restores quarantine for foreign visitors. Thailand is considering reinstating mandatory quarantine for foreign visitors due to concerns over the spread of Omicron as the health ministry reports first case of local transmission of the coronavirus variant. The first locally transmitted cases was found in the Thailand woman who tested positive to Omicron after contracting the virus from her husband, a Colombian who returned to Thailand from Nigeria in late November, even though both the husband and the wife had been fully vaccinated. Minister Anutin Chan Virakul says the public health ministry will propose a scrapping a quarantine waiver for vaccinated visitors and revert to hotel quarantine and sandbox program, which allows free movement in specific locations. The ministry's remarks come after Thailand reopened to foreign visitors in November to contribute to a collapse in tourism, a key industry and economic driver that drew 40 million visitors in 2019. Heavy rain and strong winds can cause typhoon in Vietnam. Heavy rain and strong winds forced the evacuation of thousands of people living along the Vietnamese coastline as the country braced for typhoon Ray. State media VTV reports strong waves and wind killed fishermen and sunk five vessels. The army has mobilized troops to help build sandbags walls along the beach to prevent flooding. Authorities instructed fishing boats to take shelter with ray forecasts to make landfall. More than 100 people have died in the Philippines in the wake of Typhoon Ray, the strongest tropical storm to hit the country this year. Ray is the ninth storm to hit Vietnam this year. China strengthens COVID-19 measures at ports of entry to protect import Omicron cases. At a press conference held in Beijing, officials say China has tightened prevention and control measures against the potential risks of imported infections of the Omicron variant of COVID-19 through ports of entry. Mi Feng, a spokesman for the National Health Commission, says that the ports of entry are the top priority in guarding against imported cases. In addition, Li Zhengliang, deputy director of the Health Quarantine Department under the General Administration of Customs, says that the customs authorities have strengthened epidemic prevention and control measures at ports of entry in view of greater risk posed by the approaching of holidays and upcoming Winter Olympics and Paralympics. Meanwhile, Liu Haitao, director of the Border Inspection and Management Department of the National Immigration Administration, told the press that National Immigration Administration has already laid down detailed measures for the management of ships and crew members sailing on international routes. Well, thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. Merry Christmas once again from all of us and enjoy your holiday season with loved ones. Oh,